All right, now that we discussed logic focusing on deduction and not induction, I want to go ahead and make a video about the rules, the laws here, laws of deductive logic. So what possible laws could we have? The very first of these three laws that we're going to go over is really easy. Now, what is a law? It's an axiom. It's your accepted truth, your starting point. Uh, it's just whatever you would consider to be obvious. It's some kind of starting point where you can start your reasoning. So the first law is the law of identity. And the idea here is very, very basic. It's just that if a statement is true, then it is true. Seems obvious, seems straightforward, very easy. This is expected, just an, an axiom. So it also says if a statement is false, uh, let's see, and sorry, I'm kind of going off the screen here, uh, but then it is false. So if it's true, it's true. If it's false, it's false. And these are statements, right? This is all about logical statements. Our second law here is the law of, and I like making the second one, the law of excluded middle. Just a little bit of a logical irony. The law of excluded middle. We're not allowed to use a middle here. So um, any any statement, these statement uh, will be either true or false, no in-betweens, right? So the law of excluded middle is that you don't get um, a tross, right? There isn't, that doesn't exist. It's either true or false. No middle ground. All right, the third law here is the law of non contradiction. So a contradiction would be if something was both uh, true and false, right? If it's, a, if it's both, it would contradict. So it's not allowed to be both either. So in the same way that the the law of excluded middle said you're not allowed to uh, be in between, this one says a statement can either be true or false, uh, not both at the same time, right? It's It can't be both true and false because that contradicts. So this is the law of non-contradiction. Those are our three laws of logic. 